Oh, this door opened. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything else to uh, anywhere else to go up here? Oh, our second minute. So whatever the H door here means, we need the hour hand correct to go through it. The moth door, we're going to need the minute hand to go through. We're going to need to do the minute hand correctly to go through it. That's what this puzzle is. This is a really Twin Peaks coded room. Look at this. This is interesting. I don't know what the ray tracing is doing here. Easy way to check. Yeah, it's just like screen space reflections, I guess. Not bad. I don't know when ray tracing got toggled off. Oops. <clears throat> it's just a sign of how good the game looks, just rasterized. <laughs> Can't go out there. Let's look out here real quick. Yeah, we can just go back out. God, the lighting is amazing in this game. Ray trace right, lighting usually is, but like, god damn. God damn, this game looks good. I hate that that door stays open. I said, I just assumed the distorted reflection was thematic. No, I think when I was just fiddling with the settings in between, um, in between episodes, I accidentally turned off ray tracing. So the reflections are just uh, like cube maps or screen space or something. So they look a little weird. <laughs> oh, the vibration in the controller is gross. Really get your hand down in there, James. Oh, his hand's covered in it, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's not good. It, it, the gross fucking toilet water stays on his hand. Stays on his arm. Look at his arm. Another big open area, presumably. Yeah, I can need more ammo. Ha! Fucking try me. Fuck you. Come, try to come through that door. I fucking dare you. That's what I thought. Ah! <laughs> 
Bass says, oh my god, it happened. Their dummy thick cheeks gave them away. It's true. Uh, fuck. Oh. Neat. That was cool. That was a cool ray tracing moment. Look at these shadows, guys. They look so good. Ah, oh, my god. Ah, oh, this game rocks. This game rocks so much. <clears throat> this is like pretty much everything I would have ever wanted from like a Silent Hill 2 remake so far at least like there's just a very clear attention to detail in this that I kind of wouldn't have it have expected from like any other developer um, and that isn't to say that I think Bloober's attention to detail in their other games is like particularly incredible or like like uh, industry defining or anything like that but like all of their games have a really clear sense of like tactility. Like I truly think no developer on this planet likes I don't like that. Uh Anyway, I think I don't think there's a single developer on the planet right now that likes having a character pick up an item and then rotate it in their hands more than uh, Bloober. Like, maybe the people who made, like, Until Dawn. Like, maybe Supergiant or whatever their studio name is. There was a dead body there once. Miss Orozco? Yeah. All right, I, huh, super massive, yeah, that's right. Super giant is the people that made Pyre, right, in Hades. Super massive are the people who made Until Dawn. I want you all to just look at the lighting in this scene. Like, look how real this looks. When people ask you know, oh, does ray tracing, like, make a difference? Like, look at the way the shadows are cast on the wall. Like, look at the way that the shadow, like, the shadow isn't harshly defined on the floor. It's, like, a very subtle gradient. And there's, like, look at the ambient occlusion, which is where, like, the, for example, the parts where the where two areas meet, like, right here along this this wall. Look at that. Look at the soft style shading, but the reflections aren't being destroyed either. Ray chasing is like pretty incredible, like genuinely incredible technology. It comes at a very significant performance hit um, for most, you know, rigs or whatever. Basically nothing is gonna run it perfect at native 4K, right? But in terms of, uh, Oh, no, please don't take my flashlight away. I need that to see with my eyes. Uh, but in terms of like what it does and how it resolves for an image, it's like really incredible. I hate that. Oh, that's fine. That's not what I care about. Uh, Um, the games, whew, this, the game's controls make a lot more sense on the PS5 controller where you press your touchpad to get your items open. I've been wondering why I've had to press like the select button basically for an options menu, which seemed a little bit odd to me. Drink, James, drink. 
Take your vitamins, James. All right, so we got that. Through there. Leads us back into here. Now again, like, now that there's a new object in the room to look at in there. Look at how unsettling that is. Wait, Basque says mannequin in the shower? I didn't even notice. That's terrifying. You think taking Benadryl on Silent Hill lets you fight the Hat Man? I don't think it lets you fight him. I think it just lets the, the Hat Man take you. I want to stay above 10 health drinks. That seems appropriate. My health is pretty low right now, though, still. Oh, there's a seesaw. I forgot about that. Okay. Wrong room. 209? Is that the right one that we want to be in? 210. Alright, not what I expected, but... Winged key. What does that go to? All right. The door that was locked that I didn't even realize was locked. Oh, I hate that. All right, James. Hole jumper. Time to live up to your, uh, your legacy. James for Smash says Bask. I know you're joking, but that's a genuinely funny thought. <laughs> James for Smash. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny. <laughs> the creepiest part of this place is this transition. This room going from hellish and, and corrupted and rusty and de like degrading to clean and patterned and orderly. I don't know if I like that. I think that's like really ominous. Another creepy vignette. Look at that. Ooh, I don't know if this will show up on stream or in VOD, but no motes in the air, turn on your flashlight, suddenly you see all the dust particles in the air. It's kind of cool. I like the little details. I know it's very, like, I don't know, minor, but I really like that kind of stuff. Like, graphics technology is cool. People are quick to dismiss graphics, but I think that, like, or, like, high fidelity, because, you know, obviously people just want... Oh my god, it's this room. Oh, it's you. Yeah. I'm James. 
Angela. Angela. Okay. Look, I'm not sure what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? What's the point? It's easier just to run. Maybe it's all we deserve. We? Me. You. We are all the same. I'm not like you. Are you afraid? Sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? No. Not yet. Did she live here? In this building? I don't know. So all you know is that she lived in this town? What did you say? How did you know that? Well, I just figured because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Sorry. Did you find the person that you were looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. I don't know why I think she's here. She... She died three years ago. She's dead? Oh, don't worry, I'm not crazy. At least I don't think so. I have to find my mama. Uh, should I go with you? This town really is dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. No, it's okay. I... Besides, I'd just slow you down. What, what, what about that? I... Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do. No! I'm sorry! I've been bad! Please don't! Angela's actress's performance is like a once in a lifetime quality performance. That is crazy. Um wow. Uh yeah, holy crap. That was so good. Um also a reading of this scene that is really interesting that has never occurred to me until just now. James says, I'm looking for my wife. 
but she died three years ago. I promise I'm not crazy. And Angela responds, wait, she's dead? I have to go find my mama. In my head, even in the original game when she says like that kind of variant of that line, I read that as like, oh no, my mother is in danger. I have to find her. But with this performance and the subtlety on her face in the way that she delivers the line, it reads as dead people are alive here. I have to find my mother in parentheses who is dead. Close parentheses. So that colors the entire rest of this performance. Like immediately. Like when she says like, I've been bad, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Like there's, it immediately colors everything else that she says and the rest of her interaction with James. Yeah. She's, she's suddenly afraid because redacted could be out there to get her again. Exactly. This is incredibly intriguing. Key of resilience. Oh, wow. What a stunner of a performance. That was great. That was really stellar. Hands on the TV. Handprints on the TV. Handprints on the TV. You see that? Uh... Oh, wow. That's a, that was a chillingly good performance. I know I haven't really talked a lot about James's performance yet. Also, the lighting here, I think it slightly changed. That's really good. I know I haven't really spent a lot of time talking about James's performance, and it's not because he's uh, not good. Uh, I actually think it's really great. It's just like very understated oh the sound is so good Rishan says almost overshadowed by the performance but the camera work in that scene too yeah the camera work there was incredible all I want to do oh man this game is phenomenal <laughs> this is this is fantastic now there is there is something to say about this, which is just that the, the, obviously the dreamlike tone of the original is incredible. And I don't think that this supersedes the original. Like I wouldn't say if you want to experience Silent Hill 2, only play this game. Like that's not what I'm saying. This feels to me, and I mean this in a very good way, the way that I would want to see Silent Hill 2 adapted into a film or a TV show. Like, this is Silent Hill 2 through the lens of a prestige drama or a like a, a very high quality like art film interpretation. I love the first Silent Hill or the, the Silent Hill 2, but it is an assemblance of interesting parts that, where their incongruences create an interesting vibe and feeling that's very... It's very Lynchian in a way that I don't think anyone can like intentionally try to do. There is a weird quality to it because there is a lot of incongruity, which the second you try to do that very intentionally, it falls apart. See basically every single Western Silent Hill except for this one. So like when it comes to this, this is like, this is a very interesting serious respectful take on the original through the lens of a different but equally skilled set of filmmakers for lack of a better word and yeah i mean this is a remake right like this is a reimagining i was right look that's a second hand door uh this is a reimagining this is not i mean in a remake in the fullest sense of the the word right this is not a just raw one-to-one -one remake no matter how close it is they're adding things and fucking damn it uh they they are adding things and, and stuff like that but 
there I think the most interesting aspect of this is where Vers la flamme. <laughs> That's cool. Through the flames. That's Angela. Another syringe. Oh, excellent. We're stockpiling some healing. So there's a... Uh, there, there's just a lot of cool hot as hell. Yeah, exactly. There's just a lot of like interesting stylistic choices here that I think are very skilled. And it, it, it the additions so far in this remake are in. S Whoa, she launched herself at me. <laughs> They've been in service to the narrative of this game. Forever Together 208. Oh, great. So wait, we came up through this room instead of down through it. This is interesting. Bass says, oh God, I don't like that. Yeah, we're in new territory now. Where's the clock? It's in 2.12. Okay. Milo's here. Hi, Milo. You're too young to play this game. You didn't even exist two years ago. I did take a little bit too much damage there in that interaction, but it's fine. What is 25 steps ahead or five steps behind mean? I don't know. Brute force it, I guess. All right, well, we got the minute hand opened. Praise is possibly meaning that the hand is just somewhere in the middle of the other two hands. Yeah. It's fine. We can we can just uh, <laughs> brute force it. That's okay. Are there more mannequins now? And I think they slightly moved. That's unsettling. Well, I'm really congested all of a sudden. Uh. Yep. Moon plus skull equals something. Something times skull equals moon. Oh, this is 
is math. Y'all, I do math for a job. It's legs, right? It's legs. So one, two, three is moon or is circle. One, two, three, four is skull. And moon is two. Right? Rishan says, 25 minutes ahead of the hour hand. Not sure if uh, on the five behind part. We've we've already determined that the um, the second hand will be on three. So it's two. I don't understand. One, two, three, four. I don't know. Oh, uh. Could be the number of wings since some of them are torn off. I think it's their feet. Because this would mean that some of them have two, like both the one on the left and the right have two hands. Hey, Jay. One, two, three, four. I can see four legs on the moon, or on the circle. So let's see this. So the first one is moon plus skull minus circle. So one, two, plus skull, six, minus four is two. Two. Now, um, circle times skull minus moon. Okay. So, circle times skull is one, two, three, four, times four is 16. We can't do that. That's not correct. Do I have to count how many there are total in the whole room? Because that seems crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven legs. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's not going to be that. One, two, three, four. Again, I don't fully grasp what I'm doing. It's skull plus moon divided by... Okay, let's do skull plus moon. One, two, that's six. Divided by four is two-thirds? I don't think so. Is it number of wings then? I don't... Because then they have the same amount of wings. <laughs> Just number of the moth? That would make sense. All right, let's count. So one, two, three. I probably have to move the the bureau. Yeah, it is. It's probably just the number of the moths, but. We'll figure it out. Ugh, this is giving me fear and hunger vibes, you know what I'm saying? Yuck. I want Bluebird to re remake Fear and Hunger Termina now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a deeply cursed idea. Don't... If the developers are watching, don't listen to that. One, two, three... and then two of those. So, three, two, two, okay. So this is two plus two is four, minus three is one. Three times two is six, minus two is four. Uh, two plus two is four, divided by three. I don't, think that's it 
Uh, what am I missing? Maybe it's the number of moths that have those symbols on them. So, one, two, or maybe it's the number of symbols. Three, four, five. Okay, so in this case, it's five, one, four. All right, so let's do four plus uh, two, sorry, five, two, four. Four plus two is six, or minus five is one, okay? Five times two is 10. Minus four is six. Two plus four is six divided by five. I don't see this. This last piece is the one that's confusing to me. Is there one in the corner by the lock? Oh, there is one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's eight. So there's eight moons, or there's five circles, two skulls, eight moons. Five skulls, two circles, eight moons. Or, no, five circles, two skulls, eight moons. Five circles, two skulls, eight moons. Five circles, two skulls, eight moons. So, eight plus two is ten. Minus 5 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Minus 8 is 2. Uh, 2 plus 8 is 10. Divided by 5 is 2. We did it! We got it. And it's another hole to stick our hands into. We've already done this once before. It makes you hold the button down to do it, and it vibrates the controller and does like HD rumble and feels really uncomfortable. I don't like hearing red pyramid thing. He scraped the wall. I don't think that was there before. Yeah. And yes, they have been changing. They're in a different layout now. Okay, Milo, you're being too dangerous. Demon, little demon cat. <laughs> 